I'm here today with, uh, with George Marsden, uh, Professor Emeritus of History at the University of Notre Dame. We're in New Haven today for a consultation on the future of theology broadly construed. Professor Marsden, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Great to be here. Um, we're going to talk about the future of theology for the next 24 hours, but I thought I'd start with the present. Um, as, as you see it, from your particular vantage point as an historian of religion, as you see it, what's, what's right with theology? You say, what's, what's going well in, in theology? I think theology goes well largely to the degree that it's embedded in a church setting and or, yeah, that my main experience in theology uh, these days is is with the, the, the evangelical tradition. Uh, I've done some part-time teaching at Fuller Seminary, at Calvin Seminary, and I've studied that, 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 that whole tradition. And seminaries like that are, are, are thriving, and theology is, I think, getting to the churches in, 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 in that you have pastors and other church workers who, who are uh, theologically informed. Now, we, we all know that theological education is uh, declining in just the numbers of people that, that, that are going there, though I, th I think that probably hits the main line churches as everything else does more, more, more than the evangelical. And I think, uh, I, I taught at Notre Dame, I, I don't, I'm not an expert on Catholic theology, but, but, but I think Catholic theology is, is alive and well in lots of, lots of places, and I don't know exactly how much of the theology gets through to the Catholic uh, constituents, and, 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 and that's a problem also in, uh, you know, in, in, in any kind of theology. But if, but if you have theologically informed clergy, that e e even if they're not talking about you know, explicit theological uh, issues on a, at, at a very high level, nonetheless, if they have a, a sophisticated theological understanding, that's probably getting getting through to some some of the congregants, and you can tell that if it, I mean, certain churches that you go to, you can get really well-informed preaching without it seeming to be uh, uh, academic. It's not a seminary lecture, but it's, yeah, it's yeah. providing theological education yeah. to, the, yes. to the church at large, sure. What's, uh, so that's probably what's going well. What, what are some of the challenges as you, as you see it for, for theology presently? The particular context in which you think you know, theology has a hard time kind of making, uh, finding a place, or what are the challenges that you see? Well, the, the, the most persistent challenge is perennial. I don't think that most church people have paid attention to theology uh, through, th through, through, through the ages. Uh, and so, uh, and 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 in I know in the American setting best, there's there's a strong anti-intellectual tradition that, that that's pretty pervasive. So that and 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 that cashes out in uh, a, a decline in, in in belief that you really need theological education. Or maybe I shouldn't say decline because. If you go back to uh, early Baptists and early Methodists, they didn't emphasize a, a, a lot of theological education uh, in, in the first place. So theological education uh, can be seen as a sort of luxury, uh, and, and it, uh, there, there was an era where there was a, in the 20th century, I think, where there's an expectation of a certain kind of style of three-year seminary education that clergy, most clergy would have, and 
uh, e even the more populist denominations tended to follow that pattern. That's, be I, I guess, I, I'm not an expert on this, but I, I think beginning to uh, disappear and there's, there's much more simply mentoring people in churches, uh, which could be good, could be, <laughs> could be bad, probably, but, but probably not, n not so good for uh, theology proper as, 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 uh, as, as a discipline. Today, we're, we're very aware of being in a global Christian situation, and uh, there's a terrific need for uh, global theological education. Also, there's a terrific opportunity there, I think, for people who, who want to study theology and go to other parts of the world and, and, and be involved in theological education there because the ch churches are, are, are burgeoning around the world and, and to have strong theological education is a good way to uh, help keep them with some balance because uh, particularly in the Protestant world and uh, particularly in the so even, probably evangelical world, there's a tendency to uh, free enterprise and whatever works in the market will, 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 will work. And, and that has some benefits in, in bringing people into the church, but then the next stage, it, it seems to me that the function of theology is uh, sort of not to be in the front lines, but to, to, to help people get a more depth in their in their Christianity and and, and, and educational institutions are an essential way of, of doing that. In the paper that Miroslav and I circulated for our conversation uh, for these two days, um, we talk about uh, suggest that a way forward for theology um, uh, is, is to orient theology around uh, the good life and to make some sense of what theology is for in that sense. You have some reservations about, about that language and some well, worries about it. My reservations are, are basically on, on, only that the good life can mean anything to, 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 to anyone. Every, er, everyone is interested in, 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 in the good life, uh, and, and so it, it's a term it's a sort of empty term that needs further qualification. And if you're talking about Christian theology, well, mm -hmm. then Christian theology is about the good life, which is participating in uh, the life of love that originates in the, in, in, in the Trinity. And uh, so I'd be a little happier to, to say something like, participating in the good life, sharing in the good life, that has a sense that uh, this is not just an individual quest for uh, health and wealth and, and, and happiness, but is sharing in a, a, a larger community and ultimately a, a, a community that's larger than simply a human community. And that's actually what theology is about. And, and, and just saying the good life as such doesn't, doesn't seem to me to adequately mm -hmm. capture that. And, 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 and I, I, th I think from people I've talked to, I, 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 other people have that reservation when I've mm -hmm. said, well, I'm going mm -hmm. to a conference. It's about theology should be centered on the good life, and, and, and they look sort of blankly as to, well, what's what is that? What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no doubt. It's a it's a formal term. Yeah, and as you say, it can be given content by any number of traditions in very very different ways. Yeah, I think part of our hope is that perhaps it gives us ways of having conversations with uh, with people who think quite differently and and do have, come from different traditions, and would give that. But we have a shared. We at least would have a shared formal goal, right? In 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 well, common. Well, well, that would seem to me to be a rationale, it's, a, it's another activity that theology mm -hmm. can do, and that is mm -hmm. talking to people from different mm -hmm. traditions and, 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 and inter, interfaith and interfaith, non-faith mm -hmm. dialogues, and say, well, we're 
you know, th 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 this could be a, a, a point of departure for, for saying what does it mean for, for varieties of people. That seems to me to be a sub uh, aspect of what theology in general should do. It seems to me theology in general is designed to help guide the church in, mm -hmm. in, 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 uh, and, and uh, is specific, it, it, theology is specific to particular theological you know, t faiths and traditions. So the Christian theology is mm -hmm. different from uh, Islamic theology, right. et cetera, et cetera. Right. And so a Christ, our, our Christian theology will articulate a vision of the good life that has a particularly Christian content, maybe even goes about, will go about articulating that using particularly Christian ways of understanding of yeah. doctrines of revelation and these kinds of ways of proceeding, of, under, of even conducting its own business, presumably, uh, from the very beginning formed by those sorts of, yes. those sorts of commitments. Sure. You also talk about, uh, in your paper, participation not just in a, a good life, a life that is, uh, the source is the life of love uh, within the Trinity. You also talk about this then as participation in, um, in, in communities, in, in lived, real, material communities. That seems significant Yeah, well, that's well. why I say that, that theology seems to me to be done right when it's embedded in the church, meaning in a community, and it's serving a, a, a function in the community and in Christian theology in the body of Christ, there are different dimensions and, and, and theology is, 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 is one of many and, and theologians shouldn't have illusions that, you know, that they, they, they are the, the, the most important, but it, but, but it is an essential activity for and, 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 and in a community to help guide a community that, that, that is, that as humans we're limited and stumbling in many, in, in many ways and w whatever the truth is, we have imperfect perceptions of it and so you get some people who work hard at trying to, trying to refine our, 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 our perceptions and refine our, you know, our understanding of tradition and that's a, that's a helpful, in, in, important activity for that community. Uh, and, but but it's, it's different from, I think, theology in a university setting, for instance, where, where you don't have given a community that has a commonality about it. So, so you don't have a theological Starting point, and then and you know, and and then it makes more sense to talk about well, how do we communicate with people who who differ from us, or how how do we present theology in a in in in, in that pluralistic setting? Mm -hmm. Would it help in the university setting if the humanities were to understand themselves as being oriented around the good life? It strikes me that. That's not necessarily the way the humanities uh, it would, yeah, it'd be see themselves right now. <laughs> if the humanities sought that, and it, it, there's a whole raft of books in the last 20 years saying what's happened to the humanities. Mm -hmm. and What's happened to the idea of uh, the American idea of college, even, that, that has yeah, a lot to do with the centrality of these sorts of big questions. Yeah, absolutely. So the, the, the humanities are on the rocks, and... Um, theology maybe can help you know, speak to the humanities, but I'm, I'm not sure be, because the humanities are defined in disciplines such as literature where uh, sort of everything but theology and, 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 and sometimes you think everything but the good life mm. or, or you know, why do you read literature? Well, because it, 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 it helps you understand the human condition better, something like that. That has, has declined uh, and, and you get academic kind of specialization that's, that, that's interested in, in all sorts of specialized uh, topics and politicized topics. So it's, I think bec because the humanities are in such a decline, I'm not sure that 
hitching theology to the humanities is really the way to save either theology or the humanities. Yeah, it may, it may not be the the best best strategy, um, but it may be the only way that the university re, uh, has a has the has the function that it needs to have for our society. I mean, this is part of our concern. Our question is, where are these kinds of big questions getting asked, and where are they getting asked? in pluralistic, heterogeneous sorts of environments. It's a dangerous world if we only talk about the most important questions of life in homogeneous communities, I, I would think. Yeah, well, I, I've been arguing for, you know, publicly for the last right. uh, 25 years sure. that universities should be more genuinely pluralistic and yeah. in, the, in the varieties of points of view right. that they're trying to represent and some communities that they're trying to represent, minorities that they're trying to represent, that there should be uh, uh, substantial theological, religious points of view should be should be represented, but I don't see that happening. I mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's the direction mm -hmm. that, that that we're going, and uh, particularly with respect to Christian theology, I think because Christian Christianity was the privileged group. That, that that there's a particular prejudice against that, and the more s substantial theologically is, the the, the 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 more the prejudice is. So I, I I think in principle, that's what ought to be done. That that that, that the universities ought to be encouraging a a, a pluralism of perspectives, and so uh, the universities that have theological schools. It would, would would be a, a a very good place to do that, and they still can do. Actually, a theological school allows you to do it because universities, as people when I talk at Duke Divinity School, people said, "What? We have a divinity school?" And but it's right in the middle of campus. Yeah, it's right goodness. in the middle. Well, yeah, it's, it's it's easier to miss it at Yale than uh, <laughs> than at Duke, but so so that gives you a little bit of. Uh, a place to stand mm -hmm. to do theology, but if you're at Ohio State, um, it, how do you ha, how do you represent a theological tradition? So, I guess right now, I, as far as the future is concerned, I'm much more hopeful for uh, the the future of church related or. Uh, Educational institutions, and 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 many of the church-related colleges and universities have been doing very well, and they have wonderful faculties. That 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 there's been uh, terrific, many terrific people have been going uh, into uh, the disciplines in in those places, and 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 that's one place where theologically informed points of view can can flourish, but. It's really tough in in, in in the university, except what can happen is you simply get really good people in a university. And what I've discovered is, or noticed, is that uh, if someone does his or her work really well, the universities will accept it. So you get a Charles Taylor, uh, people will people will pay attention. And, 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 and so you know, part, part of what can happen is you just get good people who have theological commitments and are, and, and are embedded in some sort of church setting who, who, who can do theology and, 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 and be compelling. But it, it, it seems to be very difficult to to get any systemic recognition of that, that, that we need religiously informed voices in, 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 in the university. And, and it's just a, a, a lot of people are really wary uh, about that. Well, Professor Marsden, I uh, thank you for your thoughts and your perspective this morning. Look forward to our conversation in the coming days. Good. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thank you.